Welcome back to the channel. It's your host Argento bringing you another Call of Duty Warzone video. And in today's video, I'll be bringing you my new Rebirth Island loadout. Now this loadout is a mixture of previous loadouts plus a little spice. This loadout packs a punch because the, the secondary to this class is the 725. In my opinion, the second best shotgun that you can run in this game. Now I say second best because if you use the R9 and you unlock the Dragon's Breath bullets, that is by far the most overpowered thing in this game. Now, I don't have that. I'm still working on getting that. So until then, the 725 is the next best thing. Now this is a two round burst. If you hit somebody close quarters, they're done. You're sending them, you're sending them packing. Because this, because the way I created this 725, it's, it's a perfect secondary. And I say perfect secondary because Rebirth Island, the gameplay style, is very fast paced. The gunfights are usually close quarters because you're fighting in a lot of buildings. There's a lot of cover. So you need a secondary that packs a punch and that is cr crazy at close range like this gun is. And that you'll see. Like, two round burst. Boom. Killed him instantly. That was with one shot. One shot, one kill. Then I see this bum killing my teammates. Boom. Another one shot. I take him down. Now this 725 is special because the sleight of hand that I put on it. Now this allows you to reload as fast as possible. And as you can see, I was easily able to shoot four bullets in a fairly quick amount of time. I also adjusted this class so that the 725 has so much more range, more control, and that I added the little laser sight to it. The first one. The 1MW laser. Now I use that just because I don't need people to see the visit. Uh, see the other lasers. That's one thing that I don't like doing because I don't like giving up my position. And there's not really, there's a slight difference to the accuracy, but when you're using a shotgun, you don't need something like that to give your position up. Now, as many, as many of you kn may know, I love using the PKM Sunset Hue. I think it's one of it's one of my favorite guns to use in this game. It's very powerful. And I've been tweaking it for a long time. Now, you might have seen other videos where I've used this gun. Well, I'm telling you now that I went back to look at all my gameplay. And I was noticing at medium to long range, I was losing control of the weapon. And that I wasn't getting as many kills at that distance as, as I should be. So I went back and I realized that I I realized there was a barrel that I needed to put on this gun and that is the let me see my database the 26.9 extended barrel. Now when I added this to the game to my to my LMG it completely changed the game for this gun. This gun is a, is a laser beam. And at, at any distance, if you, if a hundred bullets, this thing is a laser. This thing is, it's overpowered. And I can't tell you how many more kills I'm getting. Did, did you see that? Did you see what I was doing to that clown? And then, oh, turn around, there's a guy behind me. Bang, bang. He's digging it done? Yeah. This thing is a straight laser beam. So that's why I changed it. Because I needed more. It, that barrel added more accuracy and added a significant increase in range. Now, at the end of this video, when you see me take the W, I'll show you what attachments that you need to use. But for this game, 
you need a you need a gun that has a medium distance is pretty good at medium distance and a gun that's very good at close quarters combat now snipers aren't for this map sniping is not for this map just because you're not going to get a lot of opportunities to snipe because people are always constantly redeploying and you're never going to be in a comfortable spot to where you can snipe and potentially kill people just because there's there's so much cover in this game and it's just so fast paced that there's no need for a sniper honestly a sniper only inhibits inhibits you if you're playing this game now I like the PKM just because it gives me that distance advantage over anybody just because I can attack a, a squad and not have to reload like I just did now I killed him my boy Anand took care of the guy on the left boom he's done now I still got 75 bullets. I'm able to fight whoever I want and have not have to worry about it. I think <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But look at this. I'm just lighting this dude up. Boom. And I kill I knock three people and I still have 27 bullets. That should tell you that this gun is deadly. And now look. This guy got a self-revive. We're just gonna camp him out and wait for him. My boy Anon pushes. Now I think he goes no he he goes down here but look at this that uh, that's a pretty good distance away and I got the W because this you have to use this loadout I I really urge you to try this loadout just because ever since I started using this I have I think I have at least six six wins on this map now. And I've only been playing, been playing on occasion just because I've been, I have, I've been very busy lately. It's the holiday season, so I gotta do a lot of stuff. But this has just changed the game for me, and I really encourage you, if you want to start winning, you go get a loadout, you copy it to this loadout, and then you win. That's it. So now. In a few seconds, we're going to switch to the custom class. And you can pause whenever, copy the loadout. It's called the Run and Gun. The, this is the PKM Sunset Hue Edition. But you don't need it just because you can just copy it anyway. With us a regular default. Now this is my shotgun. And I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.